Hey everyone, you know what time is it? It's coffee time. So people are graduating, right? You are entered the society, you likely gonna have a new social group. So in this episode, I wanna talk about the selection bias in your social network. It's gonna be a great episode because me personally, as an international student, when I came to the United States, that was a great challenge for me. So I use this golden rule, and I'm gonna tell you what that rule is to use as a guidance for me to choose my social circle. And being in this country for 10 years, you're gonna be surprised that how little people know about this knowledge. So I just wanna take this episode and share with you guys exactly what this golden principle is. So the first thing I wanna say is the word bias itself. And it turned out the definition of the word bias from linguistic point of view, it's the actions that support or against a person in an unfair way. So if you think about the tone of this definition, automatically it's embedded that negative energy, right? Unfair way. That is not the bias that I'm talking about, okay? From statistical point of view, the bias has no positive or negative energy, okay? It is merely a deviation from the mean. So in other words, from a statistical point of view, you can just go on Wikipedia and check out the bias of an estimator. An estimator can be as simple as an average. There's a class full of students, take one exam, and you look at the grades. What's a good estimator for the grades of this entire class? Well, you can look at the average, right? You can also look at the standard deviation, right? So average by itself can be an estimator. Is this estimator biased, right? The definition of that is you take a look at the expectation and you see how much it deviates from the mean. So how do you do that? You look at the empirical estimator and you compare with the ground truth and the expectation of that difference is exactly your bias. If that difference is zero, then there's no bias. If that difference is huge, then obviously there's a bias. But if you look at this bias from a statistical point of view, there isn't really a negative energy surrounded, right? It only means that whatever empirical value that you're looking at, it's not the same as average. So that brings us to another interesting topic, right? If I'm an international student and I go to University of Rochester to do my undergraduate study, let's say an entire school has about 10% of international students. Then what that means is if I do a random walk around the campus and I meet 100 people randomly, then there should be 10% of those 100 people that are international students, right? That's what that 10% means on the campus level. So you can take an experiment, right? So after a whole semester, you can calculate the statistics, right? Maybe you have 20 friends, and maybe you look at which one of them are international students. Is that number higher than 10% or lower than 10% or exactly 10%? If it's exactly 10%, then it can be safe to say that, okay, maybe you're doing a random walk. You're talking to everybody that you met, there's no selection bias. If it's higher than 10%, unfortunately, there's a selection bias. If there's no selection bias, think about it. How is it at all possible that I'm doing a random walk on a campus that has average 10% of international students, and it happened to be the case that end of a semester, 90% of my friends are international students. There has to be a selection bias, right? Because I chose to talk to a subgroup of students more than the other students that I randomly met on campus. That is precisely what selection bias is. Now, that being said, I love China, and if I can, I will talk to Chinese students more, right? It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it is a reflection of me choosing the easier way out, right? Because I know Chinese, I speak Chinese perfectly, it's my native language, and I hang out with these students perfectly, right? It's an easier way out. The opposite choice is I talk to American students. That is a harder way out, right? I'm not from here. I don't know anything about the American culture, and I don't really know what food people eat. I don't really know what stories people tell. I don't really know what these jokes mean, right? It is a harder way out. It is more challenging choice to select that, right? So in other words, there's a natural tendency, especially as international students, to choose that 10% of subgroup more to be friends with. So that is the selection bias here that me, if I want to stay here in this country, if I want to understand US culture, I need to correct myself. So that leads to another interesting philosophy that I've learned from China. It's called Ru Xiang Sui Su. And this phrase, Ru Xiang Sui Su, means 
that if you're going to a certain location, you want to follow the local custom, the local culture, uh, which basically means the language they speak, the food they eat, right? Their religions, their belief systems, and whatever, right? Maybe the jokes that they tell. So all these things are local. It's very difficult to generalize that. So if you want to understand the local custom, the local culture, then you better go out there and talk to different people, right? So that is the story here, right? That is the correction here that I need to change myself if I want to learn more about US culture, which end of the day, that's exactly what the goal is, right? Otherwise, why do you want to come here for college? So let's come back to the punchline of this video. What is the golden principle? The golden principle is you look at your own statistics and does it match the global average of that location that you belong to, right? If those two numbers don't match, then that's the implication that you have a selection bias. Then you need to make a judgment call, right? You either say, hey, I don't really care about that. And, you know, I'm very comfortable of where I am. And you don't make the change. Or you say, okay, something's happening. I need to correct myself. I need to correct my own behavior. I need to correct my own choices. So I'm choosing the harder way out just for me to be exposed of different culture. And that is the fundamental choice here that's led by this golden principle that I believe is extremely important to share. If you're entering undergraduate for the first year, you need to know this. If you're graduating from undergraduate and you enter into society, you definitely need to know this because in the society, there are different sorts of people and you want to be a little bit careful of the selection bias. And for those of you who are applying for college or master program, right? You look at the class and they are like 98% international students, then it is a time to ask yourself, okay, what is happening here, right? Why is there a selection bias? You look at the demographics of the entire university, the international students is probably like 5%. And then certain master program, the international students is like 98%. Then you need to ask yourself, what is the selection bias and why that happened? So in other words, these are all great questions for you to move forward in your life, to ask yourself and also challenge yourself exactly what is going on. Right? So it's a difficult topic to talk about it, and hopefully it's a valuable lesson here to share with all of you guys. If you want to support the channel, give a like and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next episode.